Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. So today, I have this great, well it is based on a real story, book. A Long Walk to Water, based on a true story by Linda Sue Park, a number one New York Times bestseller. Tragic and harrowing, apparently, by Publishers Weekly. You know. Well, this is based on a real story, and quite an awesome and really wonderful story, too. Well, let's get right on to it. There's two stories in this book, as mentioned. The first story is about Naya, who goes to a pond to fetch water for her family. She walks eight hours every day. The time that she's supposed to go to school, now she can't even go to school. I mean, that's sad if you ask me. Selva. He walks away from his war-torn village. He's a lost boy, refugee, destined to cover Africa on foot, searching for his family and safety. It's about these two characters, and Salva, well, well, the book entirely is kind of, every chapter there's this, this, this light-colored um, print. That's the, that's the story about... Naya, and the normal text is the story about Salva, and Sal the Salva story is longer, and Naya's story is quite short actually, maybe only worth one actual chapter, not one, maybe a couple, maybe two, but you know what I mean, and it is a great book, and about Salva, he ran from his village, because when the war between between the two Sudanese people who believed in different religions, they wanted to fight each other, and suppress each other, and you know how religions work, right? Only if you believe in that religion, that religion is the greatest religion, for them anyway. So they fought, and the war finally had to reach Salva's village, which meant he had to run for it, and he ran, and he did so for a long, long time, and finally reached a refugee camp in Ethiopia, and lived there for a six years, most of his life. Then, the refugee camp at Ethiopia closed because Ethiopia's government was collapsing, and he ran, and he leading a group of boys, had, boys who had survived the cruel pushing and shooting of the soldiers who had driven them out of the refugee camp, they walked to Kenya, which was, by the way, at the other side of Sudan, and they, that took a year and a half. Which is quite a long time to walk, by the way. In my opinion. What do you think? I mean, I think it is. And Salva, he finally reached Kenya. And there, he decided he was chosen to go to New York. He was adopted by a new family. New York at the United States. And there he went to school, went to college, graduated college. He was a young man. And instead of just going around on shopping sprees and romance, he decided that he wanted to do something about this Sudan problem. The people didn't have any water, at least clean water, or they had to walk eight hours a day to get the muddy, disgusting water. For this, he had to help. After all, he was Sudan in his court. And he made speeches to people People who were inspired to donate money, even the smallest amount of money, it came together by the millions. And he dug, and he dug wells in many, many places. And he was Dinka. Well, there's two tribes that lived in Sudan, Dinka and the Nuar. And the Dinka, and he was Dinka, and the Nuar and Dinka were enemies. But... He decided to finally, after digging many, many wells in Dinka villages, to dig some in newer villages. And in that newer village, there was the other main character, Naya. And in the final, in the final part, Naya and Salva meet. And they shake hands and Naya says thank you for bringing water to our village. And I think, like, Salva is a really great person. And he is a real person, so... I think that it's not even a fantasy. And later on, Salva, who had been, well, cut away from the family because of the war, met his family again. His mother, 
his father and his sisters. But his bro from his three brothers, only one brother had survived, Ring. Which was sad, but at least, like a miracle, he did get to see some of his family members. Like his father, his mother, his sisters, and one brother at least. And it's a really good, heartwarming, tear dragging book. You got to read it, and you will be inspired to donate for a good cause of digging wells for the Sudanese people. Thank you guys, and like always, your bookquester, Aaron the Bookquester. Have a good day, guys, and don't forget to read this book.